Solving word problems involving direct, inverse, and partitive proportions. Proportion problems are word problems where the items in the question are proportional to each other. There are different types of proportion problems such as direct proportion, inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. Be sure to set up correctly the proportion problems when solving them. Once it is set up, replace the values that you know and use an N or any other variable for the value you don't know. Word problem involving direct proportion happens if an increase or decrease in one quantity produces the same rate of increase or decrease on the other quantity. Example, if two pencils cost 24 pesos, how much is the cost of six pencils? With this proportion problem, the first thing to do is to set up the proportion. Setting up the direct proportion, you will start with the ratio 2 is to 24, wherein 2 pertains to the number of pencils and 24 is the cost. Following the order of the items for the second ratio, the number of pencil is 6 and the cost is N since it is missing. Setting up the direct proportion, it is 2 is to 24 equals 6 is to N. Multiplying the complete pair, which is the means, 24 times 6 equals 144. Dividing the product 144 by 2 equals 72. So the cost of 6 pencils is 72 pesos. In fraction form, the direct proportion is written as 2 over 24 equals 6 over n, wherein the order of terms in ratio would be pencil over cost equals pencil over cost. Multiplying the complete pair 6 times 24 equals 144. Dividing the product 144 by 2 is 72. So the answer is 72. Steps in direct proportion. Number one, set up the ratios. Items in one ratio must be of the same order as in the other ratio. Number two, multiply the complete pair in proportion. Number three, divide the product by the number given in incomplete pair. Let's try this. At the price of three apples for 54 pesos, how much should be paid for nine apples? And for our solution, set up the ratios in proportion. So the first ratio is 3 is to 54, wherein 3 is the number of apples and 54 is the cost. Following the order of items, the second ratio is 9 is to n, wherein 9 is the number of apples and n is the missing cost. With this proportion, Multiply the means since the pair of terms is complete. So multiplying 54 times 9 equals 486. Dividing the product 486 divided by 3 equals 162. So the missing cost for 9 apples is 162 pesos. Word problem involving inverse proportion happens when a change in quantities comes in opposite direction. An increase in one quantity produces a decrease on the other, or a decrease in one quantity produces an increase in the other. Example, if 35 men can reap a field in eight days, in how many days can 20 men reap the same field? Take note in inverse proportion, same items must go together in a ratio. So men is to men, 
equals days is to days. With this, the first ratio is 35 is to 20, which are both number of men. The second ratio is n is to 8, which are both number of days. Take a look at the place of 35 men who reap the field in eight days. They occupy the first and fourth terms, while 20, which is another number of men, and the missing days occupy the second and third terms. Multiplying the pair 35 times 8 equals 280. Dividing 280 divided by 20 equals 14. So the final answer is 14 days. In fraction form, following again the order men over men equals days over days, the inverse proportion will be 35 over 20 equals n over 8. Multiplying 35 times 8 equals 280. Dividing 280 divided by 20 equals 14. So the final answer is 14. Steps in inverse proportion. Number 1. Set up the ratios. Same items must go together in a ratio. Number 2. Multiply the complete pair in proportion. Number three, divide the product by the number given in incomplete pair. Let's try this. If 40 persons can consume a certain amount of food in two months, in how many months can 20 persons consume the same amount of food? Setting up the ratios, the inverse proportion is 40 is to 20 equals n is to 2, wherein 40 is to 20 are both persons and n is to 2 are both months. Multiplying the pair 40 times 2 equals 80, and dividing the product 80 divided by 20 equals 4. So the missing is 4 months. Word problems involving partity proportion happens when a whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. Example, in a class of 42, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 4. How many are boys? How many are girls? Setting up the partity proportion, the order ratio equals whole is used. With a given example, the partity proportion is 3 is to 4 equals 42, wherein 3 pertains to the parts for boys, 4 for girls, and 42 is the whole. To solve the partity proportion, step number 1 is to add the parts 3 plus 4 equals 7 parts. Step 2. Divide the whole, which is 42, to the total parts, which is 7. So 42 divided by 7 equals 6. Step 3. Multiplying 6 times 3 parts for boys equals 18. So there are a total of 18 boys. And multiplying 6 times 4 parts for girls equals 24. So there are a total of 24 girls. Steps in partity proportion. Number one, set up the ratio as ratio equals whole. Then add the quantities in ratio to get the total parts. Number two, divide the whole with the total parts. Number three, multiply the product into given parts. Let's try this. Dwight, Tyron, and Willie have a total weight of 112 kilograms. Their weights are in the ratio 3 is to 1 is to 4. What is Willie's weight? How much heavier is Dwight than Tyron? For the solution, 
the inverse proportion must be set up as 3 is to 1 is to 4 equals 122, wherein 3, 1, and 4 are parts for Dwight, Tyron, and Willie, respectively, and 112 is the total weight. Adding 3 plus 1 plus 4 equals 8 parts. Dividing 112 by 8 parts equals 14. So 14 times 4 parts for Willie equals 56. Therefore, Willie's weight is 56. Getting Dwight's weight, multiply 14 times 3 parts for Dwight. And that would be equal to 42. And for Tyron, multiply 14 times 1 part, and that would be equals to 14. Subtracting 42, which is Dwight's weight, minus 14, which is Tyron's weight, equals 28. So Dwight is heavier than Tyron by 28 kilograms.